Today, Precarious plays Endless Legend. There's an opening video. Oh. But we can go ahead and we'll start right now. Okay. Are you excited to be fun bat? Yes, I'm much more excited than I thought I'd be. I hadn't really looked at this. We had mm -hmm. talked about some clans. Is It's clans, factions? Factions. What is it? So we had talked about the factions to make a decision on what to play. Otherwise, we'd be here all year. Yeah, I mean, we just spent five minutes making the final decision between the uh, Alaya, Al Alaya? Uh -huh. And the roving, uh, just the roving traders. I wish we had the volume how up. So, cool. I wish we had the volume up so that way I could hear how they pronounce it. We'll just listen for it between sessions. Deal. Uh, okay, so I have played a lot of Civilization 3 and Alpha Centauri mm -hmm. in the past. Mm -hmm. I don't play these types of games as much anymore because it's sort of a time commitment unless you like turn everything up really fast and just decide that you're just gonna do like a whiplash type of game, which I don't like so much. So I haven't really played one of these in a, in a while. And then you came across endless legend legend well yeah. and endless others oh yeah of the <laughs> endless variety but but endless legend and uh you described it to me as much more alpha centauri like which i like alpha centauri better than civilization for the most part because i don't know it just feels more homey to me mm -hmm. um the ancient world is always a little bit befuddling Ooh, ah, uh, ooh, that's pretty good. Okay, Endless Legend is far and away my favorite game of this style, like hex. Hex grid management civilization-y type Builder, deal. yeah. And yeah, like you said before, it has, it is a better sequel to Alpha Centauri than Civ Beyond Earth, mm -hmm. I would say. Rumbling Stones. Okay, now I guess it's got a, the first one. This faction, they don't get very many cities, if I remember correctly. I don't think that they are big into... I think that they have sort of like a squat empire. I don't think that they... Uh, or no, I'm sorry. What's, what's the term? You either build wide or you build tall, and I think that they... They have like one super city, one or two of them, right? Mm -hmm. So I need to make sure that my first city is a good one. I normally like to be near the ocean if I can manage it. We It feels pretty boxed in right now. Yeah, and I don't... That seems like it's snow to the south and to the north. I think that I might be like in a in a sweet spot and sort of like a habitable zone yeah oh there's so much this game there's so much to talk about with this title and i so i set it to a fast game speed and uh an easier difficulty than i would normally play on i would normally not do either of those just so that way we don't spend the next four years playing through one map yeah of this game <laughs> which it's saying something that you had to do that just for us to play on the show Kind of explains why I haven't been able to really enjoy this game on my own time. Right. Oh, and there are the minor factions. Hold on, let me minimize that and I'll try to talk about it later. So I need to make some decisions. I don't want to spend too much time like moving into a whole different area. Mm -hmm. So that's an anomaly. And where's the other anomaly? I think it was... That weird wet spot in the middle? It's the rocks there, and... Ah, there it is. Okay, the rumbling stones. If I remember correctly, there are two pretty easy ways to build out a town. Mm -hmm. You either make a big triangle, mm -hmm. or you make a two by... Or you, you put them in pairs mm -hmm. in a shape like this, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't think that it's good to mush the anomalies like i don't think you can build on them 
you build right between them, perhaps? Yes. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my settler and right there it will be 11 and 14. Mostly I'm concerned with food and production at the start of the game. Okay. So that's much worse food. Do we need food, really? Yes, we need food, especially for this faction, because I think they, it takes them like twice as much food to go up a population. Okay. I think that that seems like an all right starting point. So we're gonna- Let's just go for it. We're gonna set up our first city right here. <laughs> I'm so Little delighted. Little city? I'm so mm. delighted at the Turn look of up. the bats. What are they actually again? Alaya, Alaya. A-L-L-A-Y-I. Oh, a lie. Yeah, now is this gonna take, is it always gonna be two? No, okay. So I'm gonna actually move that back. I'm gonna move that back, I said. Uh, to, to record this game. Oh boy. We have, uh, I'm playing on a, on a Steam controller, which is a little squirrely, but I think I should be able to get everything that I that I want out of this experience. It should, it'll be f Just need to make sure to not <laughs> to refuse to type anything in. Mm hmm So, if I remember right, it's been a while since I've played, but if I remember correctly, things get expensive pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. Did I start next to a river? Not, Not quite. quite, no. There are a lot of rivers all over the place, but none near me. That's fine. That just means that I'll take this one for the flat bonus. Or for the guaranteed bonus. And then, usually after that, science started a little low. So I think I'm going to get these two, and that'll be enough to get me started. Uh, gotta have the Founder's Memorial. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, right. I mean, right? Right. Yeah, everybody knows about Well, we're only gonna have Founders so many Memorial. cities, right? So, what do you know about this game to start? Or what do you know about the Endless franchise? That might be a better place. I don't know much about the Endless franchise. I know, I mean, like, this looks incredibly familiar to me. I mean, like, the hexes with the doodads on them. And, like, the different, like... Ooh, look, there's a forest, and that's some ice, and you can probably do things in the hills like mine or whatever. You know, <laughs> yeah, find my, jewelry. Hey, yeah, there might be some deer somewhere. I I don't know. You just sort of 4x your way around the map. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it looks like you can zoom in and out, and there's probably some combat. And you know, for the 4X, all, I mean, we we all know the 4Xs of this genre. It's explore, expand, mm -hmm. excommunicate, and extinguish. <laughs> the 4Xs. Easy. Speaking of all those violent options, um, I one of the reasons that we picked this Dang. faction is that. I want to go for a victory condition that I would actually like to have. Yeah. So, some sort of, like, non-dominating victory. Like, the equivalent of, in Civilization, like, they have, like, that cultural or economic victory. Mm -hmm. Where just people depend on you so you can tell them to shut up <laughs> and stop fighting. Like, leave your sticks at home, people. We're just gonna have some lunch. <laughs> you know, We're just gonna have some lunch. We're gonna live, live a good life. Everybody, please. Um, but I don't know what the victory conditions for this game actually are. Ah uh ha! -huh. Well, here, here's the, here's one of them. Mm -hmm. All right, it's happening right now. We win. Oh dang! I don't remember how to say the name. It's been a long time since I've heard it said aloud. Ariga. O Ariga. Or what it looks like. Ariga. When Ariga brings forth her fruit in winter, it will be a sign that once again our time has come. Mm -hmm. So, this game, I think since then, since its release, I feel like 
it's become popular enough that other similar titles have... This is the first time I played a game like this that had, like, a, a narrative mm. for each faction in oh. some capacity, right? Mm -hmm. Like, not one that just comes out of you developing your your stuff? Yeah. There's, there's some little story that's being told over the course of the game. I would say that Endless Space 2 probably has more impactful, more momentous faction stories, mm -hmm. but they're not bad here, especially for this faction, because I think that their quest chain flows straight into the quest victory type, mm. which is the sort of peaceful one. Uh, so they're all told from the perspective of an assortment of, of different characters, right? It depends on the faction. Yeah. Uh, the cultist one is sort of chilling because it is all told from the perspective, I think, of uh, of somebody that's being indoctrinated. Ugh. And there's like this rise and fall of their like willingness to participate. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's creepy. But here, I think it might just be one of the sort of iconic members of the faction that we've already seen, like in the, on one of the loading screens or in the intro video. Mm -hmm. So the burden and the glory fall to me. We have taken the return of the guardians as a signal from the forest and the mountains, we come together to rebuild our culture. In my hands, it's the waxed and oiled leather pouch, black with age, that contains the... Is Epistle? it Apostle? The apost Apostle? I think it might be Apostle. Okay, if you say so. Apostle of Vros Greyspire and <laughs> Ukalgion, the ways of prayer. Through all the silent years, we have guarded these scrolls, handing them down from father to son, waiting for the moment when we could once again serve our role as sentinels of Mother Auriga. We are together, except for the flying skyfin, a symbol of our power and freedom, with its strength we can reclaim our place by her side. These pearls, the winter fruit of the Apostle. Mm, maybe Epistle? Gonna have to look up a lot of words between... <laughs> Sessions. Oh, you gotta love those fantasy words, man. Well, I know. I think that that's a biblical word, which is why I'm pretty confident that it's. Oh. I think. I that thought that's... apostle is spelled with an A, and epistle, like apostolic. Yeah. Is with an E. Ep. Epi. Uh -huh. It's. I mean, it's it's Latin, isn't it? The winter I mean... <laughs> fruit of though that word yeah. signal our resurgence. We will harvest them and use them to build an altar to Auriga as we do her bidding. We will grow our own strength. Ooh. So our new objective is to search the indicated ruins, and we get a sky fen for doing that. Ooh, is that like a? Is that what's in the picture? Is that a yes. sky friend? This is a sky friend. <laughs> Did you call it a sky friend? <laughs> I might have. Okay. It is. It will be soon. Will be it right now? It's a sky friend. Here's soon friend. Here's another thing that I think is unique for this game. Where are there? There are the heroes. So you have hero units. It's magnificent. <laughs> You have hero units that you can attach to either cities or armies, and they provide substantial benefits. They also have a little somewhere around here. Here it is. They have an EXP uh -huh. counter, and eventually they can they can grow more powerful and navigate down a, a, a skill tree mm -hmm. for Go bonuses. Back to his picture for a second. Look at his beautiful little bloody toes. They're so tiny. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I think that that, I think that that's because we picked red as our faction color. So I have attached <laughs> our hero to a small army. Okay. And now I think we might be able to just explore this. Can we explore? So you said same turn quest victory. So we have like an objective for our faction that it's telling us lore about that if we manage to complete those things, that gives us a victory. That's uh, one possible victory. I think the way it works is that I'm pretty sure that the quest victory is available to every faction that completes their faction main quest. Uh -huh. It's just that it was introduced along with this faction, so it makes the most sense for them. I see. 
So, your people are converging after centuries in the wilderness. You lack only the Skyfen. And we searched the runes, we got a Skyfen, and now our new objective is to build the Altar <clears throat> of Ariga. You need to gather enough pearls by searching ruins or by collecting them when the dark season begins. Um, Ooh, the dark so, season. Here we go. That sounds spooky. This is a Skyfen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. We can, we can zoom in really close. I promise you I won't get over it. Um, I'm pretty sure that they're healers. Is that what they, they uh, do? They're friends in some capacity. Well, I already told you that. <laughs> but most importantly, they are a flying unit with a massive eight movement points. So what I'm going to do now is just very carefully scout around to look for uh, different features on the map, try to figure out where to expand. Boy, he really is a good friend. He's going on the longest road trip for us. Ooh, see, look, here's, here's already a problem. We uh, are shockingly close to a neighbor. Mm -hmm. That's what that... Yeah. Orange border is. Yeah, I'm seeing that. That's familiar. The, one of the things that I really like about this game, it cleans up a kind of like ugly problem with civilization, which is that you can just sort of like mush a whole bunch of cities in a really small area. Yeah. Which always has felt really ridiculous to me. Yeah. In Endless Legend, all of the the tiles on the map are divided into regions and once a faction has inhabited that region with a city nobody else can live in that region with them oh that's nice yeah so see all of these tiles i'm not like exploiting them all i'm just using the ones that are right I like get exactly adjacent to the city. Yeah, but nobody can roll up and park right next to your territory, and it's like, what are you? Or right next to your city limits. Right, because the closest that was somebody so irritating. Has anybody ever done that to you? All the time. It's yeah. so stupid. It's I, like stop. So many civilization wars <laughs> <laughs> begin with. I don't know, look, 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 there's lots of space. Look, I'm just gonna be. I'm just gonna move right here and it'll be fine we're just gonna be new best friend neighbors three world wars later <laughs> <laughs> i hate you and your food sucks <laughs> i will raise that cruddy little hovel you just set up and i will take three count them three cities of yours in retribution <laughs> Oh my god. So that way, you'll be expanding. You'll put down crappy little cities next to those instead of the ones that I actually care about. 